Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm with Natalie today. We're at Fort DeSoto State Park. We're gonna do a little bit of shelling. There's just a weird, massive, out of nowhere kind of tropical system that hit here in Florida in December, which was kind of a weird time for it to hit. And as you can see right here, look how flooded it is right here at the park. I mean, that is just insane how much water there is. So I think there was a lot of rain. I think there was a lot of wind too. And so that might help us or hinder us on the beach, I guess today looking for shells, who knows? We'll find out until we get there and start looking. Look how deep the water is right here. This is wild. There's gonna be a shark up in here. <laughs> All right, here we are, my first time ever stepping foot on Fort DeSoto Beach. There's a big old barge out there, which is kind of cool. And of course, there's some beautiful seagulls, and oh my God, there's a lot of shells. <laughs> oh yes, that is exciting to me. That looks good, it smells kind of weird out here, but yes, nice. That's a lot of shells right there. Oh yeah. All right. That is, oh, whoa, that is beautiful. What is that? A bittersweet clam. Bittersweet clam. That's gorgeous. Oh, there's another one right there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those are pretty. Those are pretty stellar. Look, there's another little weird one. Oh, he's broken. What is that? Uh, what's that little guy? Part of a horse conch. Oh, it's a broken horse conch. Yeah. Meep. Got it? Calico scallop. Calico scallop. Look how beautiful that is. Is that one there? This is, I think, a bay scallop. Bay scallop. I could be wrong. This be calico wrong. scallops are awesome. Look at the little crab. I think he's. I think he's. Ah! Another calico scallop. There you go. I gotta put him back. Oh, oh. He's alive. Yeah. Look at that tulip. He has no creature and he's beautiful. Wow. That's awesome tulip right there. Good find, babe. Weep. Natalie just picked up another tulip that's incredibly beautiful. Nice. Double tulip, girl. Yes. Alright, I gotta find me a tulip. Yeah. It's my time. There's a nice lightning whelk that Natalie just spotted. That is absolutely gorgeous right there. Sweet. Here you go, babe. Good find. Yay. There's a nice looking tulip right there. Oh, it's a bit broken. Look at that beautiful color on there. A little busted, but that's all right. We're gonna keep that. Well, we're not gonna keep that one actually. We're gonna toss him back. Bye. It's a beautiful tulip right there. And Natalie noticed one that I like walked right past. Pick this one up and it's even better. Look at that. Those are both beautiful though. That is awesome. There's a little tulip right there. He's He's got a little fella in there and he probably needs the water. So we're gonna put him back right there. And then right here, I saw this one from far away. Oh my gosh. Look at that banded tulip. Oh my gosh. He has to stay there because oh. he has a friend on him. He's got the friend. That's beautiful right there. Wow. I love that one. There's a Florida fighting conch, but as you can see, they are a bit beat up here. But still a cool little shell, but we're going to leave it right there. There's a tulip right there. Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful one. Wow. That color is insane. Look at that. I am in love. Look how pretty that scallop is. The calico scallop. That's gorgeous. This nice, nice color. Loading up on the tulips. Oh yeah, that one's got some junk on it, but I bet it'll clean up nice because look how nice some of that looks. Big, nice tulip. Wow. Check out that sea urchin. I don't think he's alive. I don't know, that's pretty wild though. Cool. There's a lightning whelk, but he's pretty beat up. A lot of them here are pretty beat up. Pretty light color on that one. I don't know if this one would benefit from a bleach bath or not, but I'm just gonna leave it right there and keep walking. Oh, look at that. Big old lightning whelk, all beat up, but all purple looking, it's kinda neat. Too bad that one's not in good shape. Oh man, 
man, that's a big old tulip right there. Oh, he has some friends, though, and they are living, so we leave him here in the water. There you go, buddy. I was walking down by the water and didn't even notice how insanely shelly it is up here. That's crazy. Oh, Natalie's rescuing a bunch of sea urchins. And look at him. Oh, oh my goodness. I think he's dead. I'm oh. going to put him back just in case. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I placed him back just in case. That's sad. That storm knocked some stuff around, that's for sure. Wow, look at all the cockles and pin shells and things of that nature right here. A lot of cockles. Wow. There's a spiny jewel box clam right there. And another one right there. Look at that pretty pen shell piece. Such gorgeous color on those. Calico clam? That's pretty nice. Sweet. Oh man, look at... Some of these lightning whelks are just so big, but they're just so beat up over here. That's just sad. Look at that tulip hiding right there. Oh my gosh, that one's beautiful. That color is awesome. And there's one right there that looks pretty nice too. It's got a little stuff, but I bet it could benefit from a, from a bath. Check out this funky claw right there. What in the heck kind of crab was that even from? Or lobster? That's a really interesting one. It's very pretty. Wow. There's a nice tulip right next to a sea urchin. Oh, he's alive. He's got a friend. Bring him to the water. So he may be okay. Oh, that's deep. Okay. See you, friend. Oh, he's alive? Yeah. Florida fighting okay. conch. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, he's beautiful. Very pretty. Place him within. There's a nice little tiny tulip. Oh, he's got someone inside him. Okay, before I put him back, we'll check this one. Oh, he's empty. Look how beautiful that one is. Wow. All right, you, you must go back to the water. Let's go out a little bit past the wave, at least so he doesn't get pummeled so hard and plop him back and then keep walking and admire this one right here. There's a nice tulip right there. Oh, he is unoccupied. Oh, that's a broken one, it looks big. Oh, what about that one? I bet he's occupied. Nope, he's not occupied. Look at that color. That is insane. Nope, oh, there's a Florida fighting conch. Kinda beat up there. There's a lot of stuff right here. It's a nice olive right there. Wow, look at the color on that one. Natalie spotted that. Here you go. Shark eye. Shark eye? Oh, he's pretty beat up. Beat up, yeah. This is a cool area, though, with all this stuff going on. A lot of little shell catching spots. Tiny jewel box. Whoa, he's pretty. Oh, look, it's a little tiny turkey wing. It's real pretty. He's beautiful. Cool. There's a nice tool up there. Oh, he's unoccupied, and he's beautiful color. Cool. Wait, I see like 10 things right here I have to pick up. Okay, juvenile Florida fighting conch. There you go. That's a pretty nice one right there. Tulip. Yeah, nice one right there too. Even that cockle is beautiful. Look at the color on that. Wow. Well, he's gorgeous. Look at that picture. Juvenile Florida fighting conch. Oh, beautiful one right there. Natalie noticed a big tulip. That was pretty too. That might benefit from a little bath. Man, the color on this fella is just gorgeous. That's awesome. Is that a giant olive? <laughs> Big old olive shell, but it's all beat up. I apologize about potential wind noise. It's gotten much windier here on the point, but it is beautiful. We're walking out a little deep. Potential uh, big shells out here. Oh my gosh, it's windy. Look at all that, look at all that wave action too. Look at that tulip right there. Oh my gosh. Is he alive? Nope. Oh my gosh, that one's beautiful. I had a good one wow, Natalie said she got a good one. Ugh. Oh, that's huge. Yeah. I thought the one I found was big. Look at that but thing. Look, he's 
got little... Oh, he does have little friends living on him, doesn't yeah. he? Look how pretty that little so slipper snail is. Slipper snail. He's got to stay. That's sad. Aww. Well, it's not that sad, I guess. It's cool. Oh, He'll stay in the right wild. There. Oh, my gosh. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's alive. He's I attached. Wow. Dang, there's a lot going on in these rocks. Look at that horse call, cause he's, he's alive. Yeah, he's look at his look I'm at his not, look, meatiness. He's, he's got a oh, he's got a buddy. Yeah, see. That's a big old horse conk. That's so cool. Big shell place. Big shell place. Wow. Look at him. That's a cute little lightning whelk. I like that one. Woo! <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna knock us down. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was about to get knocked in the water. Um, you've gotta be kidding me right now. We were walking up on this stuff and I said, what's that? And I pointed down in there, it's a Genodia. Oh, it's like stuck. Ugh. I don't know if I can get it. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's all busted up, but it's a Genonia. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. That's just crazy. That's wild. Look how beautiful that scallop is. Just pure white. It's missing a little chunk there, though, so I am going to leave it. He's not broken either. That's just the shape. Holy crap, Natalie just picked up the craziest turkey wing ever. <laughs> That's nice. Ooh. What? Oh! A lightning whale. Beautiful. Look at that little tiny lightning whale just hiding out there. That is beautiful. I love it very much. It's a nice looking tulip right there. Wow. Look at the color on that. That is just gorgeous. And it's actually cool to see him. Look at this guy right here. Those bubbles will move. There's a tulip right there attached to the rock who's got a creature living in him. We got a bunch of water trying to splash me right here. There's a lot to look at through here. Just gotta be slow and steady with it. All kinds of stuff hide now. There's a big tulip there, but I, I bet you that one's alive. Uh, that one's alive too. Cool. Look at him. He's just hanging out on the rock. Ah, oh, such a beautiful shell. I love him. Natalie calls for me. Oh my gosh. Cool. A hinged calico scallop. Hinged calico scallop all still hinged up. That's so cool. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at that. That, ah! that color is awesome. Look down here, Oh, a little lightning whelk. Oh, that tulip's nice. I don't think I saw that one yet. Sweet, babe. Oh no. A deceased fish, babe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's hilarious, a little toy fish. Look at him. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, don't kiss him, you. <laughs> I want to give him a fish here. <laughs> look at this stunning great blue heron right here. Look at him. That is one of my favorite birds right there. They are just so beautiful. Look at the little tiny lightning whelk that Natalie found. That is gorgeous. There's a beautiful little turkey wing. I like that one a whole lot. And look at the calico scallop right there. Beautiful, oh, there goes me. See you later, friend. Meh, meh. Natalie just found the cutest little pear whelk right there. That's great. I love it. The babbiest. The babbiest. Also, it's real pretty right here. I do like where we're at. All right, this is a fun clip right here because Natalie told me before we came here that I would find so many apple murexes that I would get sick of it. We've been walking for a long time and I finally found one. <laughs>
<laughs> and it's all kind of broken right there. Oh, no. But Natalie said I was going to find so many I'd get tired of them. And that, that hasn't happened, babe. I'm sorry. It's okay. I understand. It doesn't always be that way. <laughs> There's a stunning little calico scalp. This little guy's cute, too. That calico scallop is gorgeous right there. Oh, he's beautiful. I love that little one. I'm keeping him for sure. Look at this guy. He's super alive. The starfish. Look at him squiggling and moving. So we got to save him and get him back in the water. So remember, don't touch him with your skin. Sand. Place him back in the ocean where he belongs. Bye, friend. Have a good life. A little turkey wing. Natalie just picked up a nice turkey wing. Some pretty ones of those here today. Natalie just picked up this piece of glass. It's quite old. I recognize these bottoms. This is probably from old beer bottle. Probably from around the turn of the century. Look at that. With the sun behind it. Isn't that cool? It's nice and frosty too. Sea glass. That's beautiful. Natalie just picked up a beautiful little turkey wing. And then I spotted a beautiful calico clam right there. Check that out. Nice little calico scallop. Super nice sea urchin right there. Check that out. There's another one right there. Oh, that one's broken. Wow, not bad. Oh, look at him. Cute little spiny jewel box. <laughs> that cute little sand dollar. That's gorgeous. Oh, right next to a beautiful calico scallop. Natalie just spotted the most beautiful olive I've ever seen. For real, look at that thing, that's beautiful. Wow. Uh, ooh. He's nice. That's a really nice one. What'd you get, a little baby horse conch? Tiny baby. Is he alive? No, he's not. These are cool, he's good. It's good, good. Potentially nice lightning whelk. Oh, wow. That one's actually real pretty right there. It's like the biggest complete one I've ever found. Mostly complete, it's missing a little at the bottom. That's cool. Super nice. Natalie found a bunch of nice apple murexes. She promised me apple murexes, but she found them. <laughs> nice lightning whelk. Pear whelk. Oh, that's, that's nice, that's pretty. Sand dollar, tulip, calico scallop that's nice and pink. Nice stuff. Sea urchins. That's awesome. Check it out. There's an apple murex right there. That's a nice one too. I like that a whole lot. That's beautiful. That, my friends, is the fragment of a Junonia. The rare sought after Junonia. Just a piece. It would have been so pretty. Oh wow. That would have been gorgeous. Lightning whelk. This is cool right here. I wanted to show this off. Look at the little shell layer right up here, way up high on the beach. That gets exposed. Look how far we are away from the water. Isn't that cool? You can see this little area that erodes. Water comes flowing through here. Maybe like a little side creek kind of thing coming out. And it cuts right through some shell layer. This is kind of crazy right here, y'all. Look at this. This is normally not like this, I don't believe at all. There's a trail right here, but look at all the sand that covered it. And look at all the water sitting right there. Look at all this sand. All this sand I don't think is normally here. Look, you can see part of the trail sticking out over here with the wood. So there's like a couple feet of sand covering this up. And it might all be from that storm that just happened. Most of it at least, that's crazy. Oh, I think 
turkey? No, he's That's not the frozen. cutest little turkey wing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. It's so tiny. Yeah, are we missing stuff? We were just walking up high and we were missing things, guarantee it. Natalie just spotted the craziest olive. Wow. Look at that babe. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful olive. It's so chunky. That is so beautiful. That's huge. That's I love awesome. This pattern. Yeah, this pattern is great. That's a good one. What? I'm losing my mind right now. What is that? What actually is that shell? That is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. That is so cool. What is it? I don't know what that is. It looks kind of like a type of genonia or something, doesn't it? Um. In a weird way, I don't know. I'm confused. What is that thing? I don't know what that is. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Does that even belong here? Did someone like throw it on the beach or something? Like, is it from somewhere know. else? I don't know what that is. That's beautiful. It's so shiny. Oh. That is tripping me out right now. <laughs> what? What? I have no idea. I've never seen one of those. We gotta look that up. Hey y'all, now I'm in the middle of editing this video, but you're obviously watching it after the fact. Uh, but with that shell, we did a little bit of research on it, and turns out that type of shell is called a noble volute, and it is native to areas like Malaysia and Indonesia, um, and not at all native to Florida. Um, so there's a few ways that shell could have ended up on the beach. Natalie suggested maybe someone had put it there for their kids to find, and the kid didn't find it, or the kids found it and left it, or something along those lines, or... Something a little less innocent is someone could have brought it and planted it there just to like fool with people, which would be, I think, really sad and messed up. And I don't know, it's still a really cool shell, but also I saw them on Etsy for like $3 labeled as craft shells and the find became a little bit less cool to me after that, not gonna lie. But it's still a really pretty shell and I'm obviously gonna put it along with my other shells and maybe one day go to Malaysia to actually find one. So. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shells all cleaned up now that we found for the whole day and do a wrap up. See you there. All right, so here are all the finds from our day at Fort DeSoto State Park. Check out all those <laughs> incredible shells. So I'm actually gonna start with this noble volute right there. This thing is actually incredibly beautiful and it is a cool find. I'm a little disappointed that it ended up there from some human and not just a natural shell, but it's still incredibly cool and beautiful. So we will accept it. And uh, got some really nice lightning whelks. I particularly enjoy this one, very nice orange color, some nice juvenile Florida fighting conchs, and of course, a fish. And I didn't get to throw the clip of this dinosaur in because it was just too windy and loud, but I did find this dinosaur toy, random. Um, obviously this is insane. And the way it was sitting in that concrete was absolutely insane. The Genonia and a piece of a Genonia. Ended up with a few Apple Murexes myself. Some beautiful tulips. Some of these are gonna need a little dip in some stuff to get that off. We've been told muriatic acid or acid magic to dip it, some of these to get that calcium buildup off. Uh, but some of them don't need it. This one probably doesn't need it because look how beautiful that is just the way it is. Um, we got calico clams, we got the turkey wings, we've got the calico scallops. I particularly enjoy this one with the orange kind of rays coming off of him. That's very, very cool. Um, Natalie did insane. As you can see, I'm still obsessed with this olive right there that she found, that thing is just beautiful. She did well on the apple murexes. There's a nice big one there. The calico clams. Absolutely killed it on the tulips. Just incredible tulips right there. Nice calico scallops. Nice lightning whelks. Nice pear whelk. This pear whelk's cool because as you can see, it repaired itself. So he's got a kind of got two stems going down, which is really neat. Um, oh, there's a little cool small pear whelk. That one was very nice as well. And the turkey wings are just insane. Oh yeah, look at that olive there too. Big beautiful light colored one. Some spiny jewel box as well. I can't go through every single shell because that would just take forever, but 
y'all get the drift. We had an awesome day at Ford DeSoto, and we can't wait to go back. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. We'll see y'all in the next one.